In this video, we will be covering the golden ticket attack. The golden ticket attack is a way to forge Kerberos tickets uh, by compromising the KRB TGT account, which is the Kerberos service account responsible for generating and validating Kerberos tickets within Active Directory. So in order to accomplish the golden ticket attack, there's a few pieces of information that you will need. Uh, this is something that does require privileges to Active Directory in order to obtain uh, and I'll show you how you get it. So what we need is the information about what your domain is. So that's the qualified domain name, the domain SID, and the KRB TGT password hash. The first two are easy. The domain, you should know what domain you're in. If not, that's very easy to discover. Um, but let's focus on how to get the domain SID. I'm just going to show you who I am right now. I'm logged into my domain as the user Steve. And all I need for the domain SID is all this information here, excluding that last set of numbers, which is the RID for the user. I'm going to ignore that and just take that first part. So that's the SID that identifies the domain I'm in. And then I need the KRB TGT uh, password hash. That's the part that requires elevated rights to Active Directory. You need to basically be a domain admin to get that. Um, I have set up my environment so I can use DC Sync with this account and I have granted the permissions on the Active Directory domain object. So all I need to do is launch Mimikatz and run the DC Sync command for the KRB TGT account. and always use a fully qualified domain name. And there you go. So you can see I've got the password hash right here. I'm going to copy that. And now we have everything we need to create a golden ticket. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you with my user I don't have any privilege membership in any domain groups. So if I try to do something like access the domain controller through an admin share, you see I get access denied. We're gonna use a golden ticket to change that. So I'm gonna come back to Mimikatz and I'm going to use the Kerberos golden command and pass in the information we just obtained. So my domain, is the qualified name there. My SID of the domain is right here. My password hash, we got there. And then the other information, whoops, I'm gonna pass in is the ID of the user I wanna create a ticket for. I'm gonna pass in the 500 uh, RID, which will be the administrator account. And then if you want to, you can also specify the name of your user and you can do any name you want. So now it's created a golden ticket and you can see it's saved it as ticket.kirby. And then I'm going to use this ticket right away with the Kerberos pass the ticket command. And Try spelling it correctly. All right, now it's loaded that ticket into memory and I can see that if I launch command prompt, it still is going to think that I'm Steve Holt, but this command is running with the elevated privileges of my golden ticket. So now I can connect to my domain controller, and you can see I can get on the domain controller, I can get to everything, there's the NTDS dit file. Um, so I have complete domain level, domain admin level access to a domain controller now. Uh, and also the good thing about this is this ticket does not expire for many years. So once you create this, you can continue to reuse this over and over again. It's a popular way for attackers to create persistence within the domain so they are very difficult to get rid of. Uh, you can read the uh, article on our site for more information about how to detect and prevent these types of attacks.
To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.